So, tea time. It's just having tea and I have Cheerios that are dry. Okay, I have to show you something. So you see it, I think, reversed. This is coconut sugar. Now, when I saw that, I was like, coconut, because I freaking love coconuts. <laughs> um, however, it was like sugar. How would that taste like? And it's, they say it's organic, so I'm like, what are you guys up to? Um, well, it turns out there's only um, 15 calories, only uh, 8 tablespoons. And um, it doesn't say much. For our D organic brand, we are committed to searching for the most original and interesting products from all over the world. And it says that it's a uh, product of uh, Indonesia. Now, I've never been there. But if it actually is like something that they use, I'm impressed because it's actually good. So I'm not going to be a dumbass and be like, look how it, oh no, it fell, you know. So it kind of looks like sugar. However, it doesn't taste like sugar. It also smells like... I don't know how to describe the smell. I wouldn't know how to describe it. It's like brown sugar mixed with other stuff. And it doesn't really taste like coconut. However, you know, I got it at the dollar store. They also got a coffee creamer that looked interesting. They got a new type of... Um, uh, coffee from Costa Rica. I forgot the name. Um, but yeah, they also got new coffee. Um, they got a hell of a new, new products, which I'm impressed with because. I know I'm removing my makeup over and over, but it's itchy because of the hair in my face. <sighs> They've had um, different types of um, new products. They also have new cups, um, new bowls. Uh, I got myself a pasta bowl recently and uh, I talked about it, but it's pretty cool ball. Also, I'm gonna stream for a while, you know, just like to relax. Never mind the other stream that I did earlier. Um, but yeah, and I think I'm gonna see maybe tonight or later this afternoon, but this one is gonna be a game. I want to stream Soma, but at the same time, I don't. So, it's going well. I only had a sandwich since this morning. So now I'm having dry Cheerios. Because, um, I just ended, you know, the other stream. Decided that this one wasn't going to be uploaded on YouTube. Because of how angry I am that I wasted my time with a person that I knew. Not only I knew that it was going to fail, but I just wasn't happy in this relationship. I just need to decide what I do with the birthday card. So it's either burn it or trash it in a bin somewhere. But I, want, I wanted to do it in the cemetery, but they don't really have bins there. Because I don't want to be like, here's a random grave, here's a card. I'll pretend that it's yours. I don't want to 
disrespect the dead person like that. Plus, I just like wanted to um just to erase the last um piece of this person that um is left in my room essentially. I've done that with my other relationships. Never had an issue. We got the tiny spoon that may or may not be clean. <laughs> I always forget. That's the only thing that is like not clean in my room. Decent chopsticks. Talking about chopsticks, um, I just realized that we have pastas, <laughs> that we have ramen, the ones that I like, and uh, yeah. So let's see with the Earl Grey how it's gonna be. It's good. Also, I only have one packet left of Earl Grey, so uh, you bet your ass that I'm gonna go to the store and buy some. Earl Grey is one of my favorite tea. Um, I was obsessed with it. I still am. Also, the cold season are restarting, so I will go down through my uh, collection of tea, which I have so much in my cupboard, <laughs> it's so bad. Um, but yeah, also, I've only put like this in coffee, because I'm trying to reduce my um, um, processed sugar and or sugar consump consumption and um, so far it has paid off uh, but yeah it's um, it's good it's just there's this smell that I can't describe it's At some point I'm gonna remember it. It's not like cinnamon. It's not that. It has a spicy, uh, well spice, herbs, uh, smell. Um, but they just say that the or ingredients is organic coconut sugar. I still don't know how to make it. I was intrigued. And for uh, 250 I mean, so far I've used not that much and it's good. It doesn't taste, well, it kind of tastes weird, but I, I don't know. There's something about it that's different that just is better, I think, than... Um, regular like sugar also i'm gonna have to show you my cup today my cup comes from walmart it is donuts stacked together Do you know what Earl Grey makes me feel like? Because I've had this when I was younger, also. And the blend is so soft. Like, you don't need to add, um, like, anything for it to already taste good. For me, that's how it feels. And it feels like relaxing just it doesn't have a smell or a taste that is like <laughs> oh my god i thought my <laughs> i thought it was gonna come off it doesn't have like a taste 
or a smell that is like overwhelming like um i have a tea that is um so bengal spices you know there's a lot of cin there's a lot of cinnamon there's a lot of like you can taste it you can smell it like i used to have a box that I was stashed behind and when i every time i opened the fucking cupboard i could smell it it, it was that bad one time i tried making my self a tea and it was like drinking just um i don't know how oh fuck it i'm still losing my words <laughs> it was like just mixing different spices make a drink out of it and then drink it it didn't really taste like any type of tea to me um i used to also really love um chai tea with milk in it this i also need to buy again so from twinnings which is a a really good um company of tea even jasmine tea really is good It just I've noticed that um, when I have the time to make myself tea and I can just relax it's absolutely delicious I think that because here's the thing I don't want to do mukbangs obviously on my channel uh, even on YouTube I wouldn't want to do mukbangs I just want to have a tiny snack with my tea and relax like also I've looked for like ring lights and uh, a, um, a phone holder um, on Amazon I went to Walmart I went to Best Buy and after that, I was like, okay, yeah, we're not going to go to any more stores. Because I've seen the prices and I was like, what will I do? But then I saw one at Walmart. It was 20 bucks. It's attached to my desk. It has different settings. I even have a, a casual tiny remote. And um, yeah. I'm kind of glad how the makeup turned out. Like I said, would have looked good if I had um, contact lenses. Because that's something I want to go back to. Sorry for the kid in the background. It's in the hallway making noise. But yeah, it's, it's this kind of thing like... I want to go back to cosplay. I want to go back to having fun with stuff like this. Luckily, it's not too cold because I closed my window. But I definitely um. Uh, here's the thing. I want to order my stuff between October and November because after that, hello, because after that uh, the Christmas rush will arrive and my stuff may, be, may get lost in the mail, but yeah, hey, I'm doing good, what about you? Are you sure? I mean, I don't know. It would end up being cringe. Oh 
my god, the kid in the background. <laughs> okay. Well, it may be cringe and that's why I don't want to be like extra awkward. I don't know, like... Ugh. I'm just thinking about the worst at the moment, I'm sorry. Well, it depends what kind of, um, like, blowing a kiss or like the, uh, like this. <laughs> the, the last message a little bit. <laughs> um... <coughs> Oh, no, that Cheerios did not, uh... Okay, um, other than the I love you in the last uh, message, um... I, I don't know what's the first part of the message. <laughs> But that's just because um, I speak English and French, even though I'm learning like other languages, it's um, just a tiny bit um, confusing sometimes. I just want to see something. Okay. change oh wait no that's red well white is better all right but <laughs> you left okay i don't know <laughs> i guess it's just it, it's not like the high princess and all that you think you can help me it doesn't work like that, buddy. <laughs> no, it's just... I don't know if it's Swedish what he wrote, or um, German. It's been a while, but yeah. I know, there's just like this part and then I wish that I don't know that I love you. Okay. This type of interaction I'm not good at. But it's gonna get better. It always gets better, god damn it. Sorry, the blank key of uh, my rabbits is out. Uh... him here now everyone that can enter the chat will be like sauce um yeah by the way the story with this is this this is a um sorry bunnies um it's a um a dog toy um my brother saw it at the gas station and was like, yeah, I'm, I'm taking it. <laughs> so that's how we got it. Uh, the rabbits love to um, get on it to uh, like dig at it and then shove it um, between their legs to make him go under. It's weird. But yeah. I'm just putting him there for, for fun. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, and um, this weekend I was supposed to um, do um, go camping. But because of the timing and everything that's going on and my brother is, you know, has started work uh, again. Um, 
we're having like difficulties let's just say uh so yeah i had decided to um we decided to cancel it oh my god earl gray is so good <laughs> oh after i got fired i went to mr t which is a brand company uh it's a company that is taken over um quite a few shops uh, i'm really sad that david's tea um has pretty much gone under the radar because of the pandemic pandemic oh but um yeah it's just because okay from what i've i've gone there like twice the first time was i don't remember a bubble tea but even then i don't remember the bubble tea second time earl grey and lavender and lychee bubbles that bubble tea was so good like oh my god it heals your soul <laughs> that's how good it was uh but it, it did that's like the um the thing that i bought to make me feel better after getting fired <laughs> but that bubble tea was so good the only problem is that um i don't know if i can just enter and be like can i have just a few scoops of this one and then because with david's tea they had like pre-packaged um tea bags they also had you know loose tea leaves in a similar type of package they also had um a few <coughs> oh my god I am so sorry for not being, um, <coughs> okay, so with certain type of, um, stuff, they sometimes, like, get caught right here in your throat. That's what's been happening. <coughs> I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Um... But yeah, uh, with David Stee it was easier. I could just say like, hey, I'm looking for this. They would be like, it's right there. And then they have like all these things. Um, Mr. T, the one that I've seen um, is rather small. So what you have is you have like all the tea that you can get um, on the spot. And then you have like prepackaged tea but you don't have the same variety as you know the one there on the wall so i'm like but what if i want earl grey that tastes like lavender <laughs> i can't um hopefully i'm gonna get like because i want to buy a dried up lavender flowers for tea because i love lavender But seeing the price compared to how much I'm craving it, it's not worth it. But yeah, my cosplay self is going to be very, very, uh, hopefully like before Christmas. Because I know how it is on AliExpress when... You want to buy something, but your stuff get lost in the mail. Because, um, it's the Christmas rush. 
a lot of people don't tend to think about it but if you order it just like a month you may receive it after christmas um that's how it is and i haven't ordered uh, ordered anything since um it's almost been two years and and i want to go back to it sorry changing position because my feet fucking hurt but yeah i should have worn a better shirt than this one because it's like hey athletic but it makes your shoulder look like shit also my my bra um i'm wearing a adidas bra which means i mean this one is for running so it squeezes a lot but that's what i need right now <laughs> I just don't feel confident enough to have like my other uh, types of uh, sport bras. But yes, so this is what it's. Um, not much has been happening. But then I say that kind of a lot. This is just absolutely wonderful, honestly. Yeah, I should have changed a shirt, I should have put something cuter. I mean, I can't take a break and change of shirt, it's just to what? Anyways, I may or may not do it later. It's cold outside and it's like rainy. Because when I opened Pokemon Go earlier, it was raining. I didn't think it would be like accurate, I guess. <laughs> but today it is anyways boy there is quite a few games that i want to stream there's after party there's oxen free there's soma i have the first level of the game uh, inside i have the game everything which I don't even know if I even started streaming. I think I did, but then I gave up because like nobody gave a shit. But it's such a good game. It's very sad. <laughs> There's a uh, Fae, which I might actually stream because Fae and Season After Fall is just relaxing game. Uh, Abzu is also kind of relaxing, so I may stream something like that. Um, what else? Because, like, I'm trying to stream a game that I want, but I I need to, like, feel like I really want to play that game. Because I, at the same time, I, like, I'm not doing this for views. Um, I'm doing this for me. But I want people to enjoy, like, the gameplay. I want people to enjoy the game and my stupid commentary <laughs> but yeah also mr t has matcha i just haven't been like really um i don't know how their matcha tastes like i know how mr t does it but yeah which is a little bit confused. I'm gonna change shirt because this fucking shirt is annoying. It's annoying me. I'm gonna cute. I'm gonna. Ah! I'm gonna find a cuter shirt. What the fuck are you doing? Why is it not gonna hit my face like this?
I'm gonna do this in my room. So I'm just gonna <laughs> go over here. Oh, we got a cute little kitty on the bed. I think I'm gonna take. Okay. Oh, fuck you. Shirt. I may or may not have messed up my, um, my makeup. <laughs> okay. So, it's been a while since I wore this one. It's not as cute as it might look. And it makes me look like a potato. But it's been a while, so I'm wearing this. It's cute. Sorry, baby. No, you can still continue sleeping. I'm just gonna take this and put it here. So it changes the mood a little bit. Oh, we can see my bra strap. No way, it's a fucking sports bra. <laughs> There's like nothing attractive about this shit. Uh, okay, so we're gonna place things back. Yeah, like this. This is my real hair, by the way, so... It reacts just a little bit different than wigs. Talking about wigs... Since I kind of know what characters I want to do, but I know that I'm going to do them like horribly because of my face and, you know, specific markings that I cannot hide under makeup. Um, I don't know. Cosplay still kind of scares me in a lot of ways. But I'm still like, I still want to do it. There's um, been different um, characters that I have been seeing slash I really want to do them. The problem is do I really? <laughs> it, just, it comes to a point where you're like, I don't, I don't know. I kind of want to, but at the same time, I'm like, fuck. If I have to show up like this in a convention, I'm gonna. Well, there's one costume that I would. It's just I know that with the body shape that I have right now, it's a no. But all I have to do after that is just wear the costume normally and just add my Ed Stoss a black mask, black mask, and that would be fine. Nobody would recognize me. Yeah. <laughs> it's um money wise also, but. We are working on it. Tomorrow I'm going to the library also. So excited. They have mangas, but I just, I never have really have the time to check them. This time, however, I do. I want to fucking check them. But yeah. Okay, they're laying down peacefully. What the fuck kind of notification that I just got? Bend tacos? Um... What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna let it pass. <laughs> um... 
Yeah. <laughs> it's just... There is one thing that I don't want. Um, with like, If I'm dressing up in cosplays or more like cute and kawaii. I don't want grown men to come to me and like call me princess and like baby sweetie and like all that. And then ask me to do like stuff like blow me a kiss, you, you know, tell me I love you and all that shit. I'm not comfortable with it. Yet. Um, I kind of wanted to do Isabel from Animal Crossing. But then I saw that the company that I want to order, you know, costumes, um, they have a uh, Bladders, um, the owl cosplay. And oh my god, it looks so good. Like, do I want to cosplay <laughs> an owl <laughs> who is deadly afraid of bugs? Or Isabel. I think Isabel. But at the same time, yeah, I want to check, you know, what kind of cosplay I want to do. For now, I still have my, um, my, um, uh, characters that I want to do. Well, the OCs that I want to do, I'm sorry. Um... Because I don't know. Well, it's just... I have to do um, research. I have to find what kind of voice I want to make them have. Like, am I going to do go, like, high pitch and fucking fake as fuck? <laughs> or am I going to go for, like, be probably more, like, monotone and... Probably there's going to be, like, a few characters. Uh... I'm gonna have to check what type of personality I want to do with them, what type of um, everything I want to do, but I like this. I like this idea. Um, if I had a camera and a like, better working laptop, I would probably like do maybe like vlogs of like, hey, uh, we're gonna go today uh, Walk a little bit. We're gonna go do a little adventure for for like um, Pokemon go uh, There's also um, man um, Other than Pokemon go there's the application for like Harry Potter that is pretty much the same fucking thing, but with mythical creatures I want to test this because I've seen and heard about it Turns out it wasn't really that good and all that, but I want to have my own opinion about it. I fucking do. I want to know how it works. I want to know. Because, like, I truly haven't been, like, a um, fan of Pokemon. Like, I know only a few things. Like, I haven't followed the series for, like, forever. So... However, I've done it with Harry Potter, so I want to know if it's going to be as good or as bad as they say it is. Because, oh my god. Oh yeah, by the way, this is like the potato uh, schoolgirl type of shirt. Um, I've had it for a long time, except now it actually is loose on me. Like, you can see, like... It's loose. Uh, it's supposed to be like that. Because I remember the photos and I was like, oh, hell yeah. Um, however, I was fat back then. I mean, I still am, but like, I am way less than I was. So now it's really loose, just like a lot of other um, clothing. And, uh, hell yeah. Um, even like my heavy Adidas sweater, very loose. But now because of my legs are my legs are slimmer, it looks better. I think it looks better on me. 
Um, my hands are not, you know, as big uh, with the sweater. They're pretty, like, small, so it's just, like, you know, we, we can just, like, move our arms and just be, like, floating in it, which is really cool because I got two of the sweater. Raining. Hell yeah. I just need to not lose the Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's it. Um, but yeah. Oh, I'm, I've been pretty happy. Because my mind doesn't go towards this person anymore. Completely. It goes towards... My, my online friends. <laughs> and... Um, other dudes that I'm talking to, which, I mean, okay, he wanted to talk to me for a long time. Last time he wrote to me, I just wasn't able to um, answer. I answered to him not that long ago, and he's like, oh my god, yeah, you're still alive. I'm like, well, yeah. Well, we're, we're talking, but I don't see anything um, going anywhere. type of um thing honestly but it's just you know that's me even then i'm not that desperate i want to be single <laughs> but yeah other than that i've um checked for a few you know wallpaper um because on the other side of my desk, I used to have, um, and I still have, uh, postcards. I removed quite a few of them because I wanted to uh, paint my wall differently. However, fuck that shit. What I'm gonna do is very simple. I'm just gonna fill my wall like I used to do. Is this my wall? Or it's my door. It's my wall. I'd put the, um, some uh, wallpaper and vintage stuff there, to be honest. Because we can kind of see like my art here. I mean, for me, it's hidden by the chat. However, it is there. And, uh, we don't see, like, the mess here in my dream catcher. So it's not, like, a cool background. Plus, my LEDs we can't fucking see because they're too high. I really want to change a lot of stuff about my room, honestly. I wanted, um, a, um, pink blankie. Because, okay. I really love pink. My kitty headphones are pink, bag pink, my toothbrush pink, a lot of stuff pink. Shirts also. But my blankies are always dark colors and that's because in the summer it becomes unbearable and I don't want to have um you know sweat stains when it's like over 40 degrees I ain't, I ain't dealing with that shit uh yep but so I just wanted to find something cute I've checked on AliExpress I found a few things But we're gonna see. It's still good. Like, the weather has been cold. Wet, but cold. I mean, this is fall, so it rains a lot. They're moving around so much right now. Anyways. I've had one of my...
Winter blankies. Okay, I have two of them. One black, one blue. Okay. <laughs> one black and one blue. Same thing for the um, the sheet. It's black. And the blankie under that is my supernatural blankie. So it's black and gray. These are good colors. Except I want to add. It's like the one depressing corner in my fucking bed. I got this blankie not that long ago. Makes my bed look more colorful. Uh, other than that, we have Jinbei Sun, which is um, absolutely adorable. But yeah, I have to uh, to check it out. Um, I'm being more careful about like what I spend money on these days. It's not going out, and uh, I'm just looking on online just looking because sometimes like okay i've had a um shopping addiction for years now and when i'm stressful when i'm more stressed i spent more money to feel better which should be uh it's not a good thing However, I've been working on it and I just put things on my cart, in my cart, and then I leave it there. I pass a few hours online checking stuff, putting items in my cart, removing them. Put them back in, removing. And at the end, I just don't spend money. Which is good. I'm a little bit distracted because I am hungry. <laughs> but, oh my god. Like, I honestly. You know what? Because I just... I, I do have like podcasts on um, my Spotify. And instead of listening to music, we could listen to that when we go um, on Pokemon Go. The only thing that I have difficulty with is that I don't have that much... Um, Um, data so I'm kind of like stuck in a way but I'm enjoying it oh yeah the cool thing also I don't have to leave my house there's always Pokemon um, spawning around me <laughs> so I also have that Mm -mm. It's kind of weird how I used to hate these, um, I used to hate Cheerios when I was a kid. But now I don't hate them. It's mostly, um, because when you're a kid you want to go for like the extra sugary stuff. But, it doesn't work like that most of the time. You just end up feeling sick. It's not good. Plus, with like, everything that can make you fat, you don't need the extra sugar. 
it's just I haven't had like a full meal. I had half a sandwich. But at least it's a sandwich. Well, I mean, I did throw it at the end because the meat was tasting weird. I am getting distracted a lot right now. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. I have to also redo my vampire the masquerade character. Not her backstory. Just how she looks. Because um, and I looked for um, that type of scarf. Uh, I had a certain idea in my mind. And I realized that if, if I want to do that look. It's going to take quite a lot of money. So. I'm just going to go the cheaper way. Also I wanted to look for a. Um, a kind of scarf. You know I kind of like babushkas. The, the kind of scarf that they do. Um, except like. It was a style in the 1950s. That was just like a headscarf. And sunglasses. That's the look that I wanted to do. Except yeah. Um, I went to Simon's. Which I know they have like scarves like these. They had none. I was so disappointed. But I even, even when I was um, fired and I went shopping, I wanted to look for a um, heavy and a big um, sweater or a hoodie that I could like hide in, like a men's sweater. Never found one. I went to all the stores that I know had like really cool styles. Nope. Tell me, okay. That's a, that's a really big, um, not cool. Because I wanted to be able to, like, wear it, it kind of disappear in it. Type of shit. I guess that's not happening. <laughs> it's just. Wow. I'm going to stop focusing on that. I'm going to have ramen for supper. Because I'm both like lazy and I just don't want um, anything at the same time. But I need to eat. I've also like restarted... Um, trying to have inspiration when it comes to uh, my ink which i should actually get my binders and show you because i'm like i'm restarting to experiment with it oh i didn't close that Okay, so I got two binders. One, which is mixed media, which I have to put it correctly, mixed media. And we have another one from the dollar store. <laughs> but this one is not mixed media. I actually have difficulties when it comes to um, colors and techniques. It's absolutely horrible. However, it can withstand um, the dumb shit that I do. So, I kind of got quite a, a lot. I just need to check. Okay, yeah, it's this one and the one behind that. Yeah. 
I'm gonna wait to show you this one. For that one, it's not complicated. There's like only two pages. So, we got this, which was a test with water and ink. So it's not that complicated when it comes to ink. You can do or try to do different techniques. So this is water with ink. It did this. Same thing for here. This was a different... Uh, this is the color aquamarine and it is shit for spreading. Not only that, but it gives you like different uh, tones. So I haven't liked that. This one I successfully did. It looked like an eye, so I tried to do a gold um, like streak to make it look like an eye. Then it failed. These failed tremendously. That was just to see how it would um, react if I just did this. And it still had like water and ink mixed in. So, fuck off. This one, I was trying to see if it would, I guess I was just trying to blend it or do something. Like you can tell, like, I also tried this, like, the eye technique. Um, this is green with gold, and gold is very hard to spread, just like silver. It's not a type of, uh, yeah, there's just two. Alright, there's just two. Um, it's not a type of color that I would use often, um, being honest. Uh, gold, silver, uh, there's copper, don't. You're gonna have, unless you know how to use them correctly and you know how to mix them correctly, because sometimes, like, I've noticed with the type of ink that I uh, got, which is good quality, the problem is maybe they've been on the shelf for too long and all that, so you might have a difficulty uh, spreading. Uh, second page is not even full. So we have, I tried a different color of uh, water, different type of blue. This was supposed to be a type of um, galaxy we got you know white dots we even got gold dots did not really work uh even here this is aquamarine you can tell uh i don't know if you can really tell but there's different shades of blue in there this was just to see how i would do clouds this is gold and orange which um gold and orange are good colors even with yellow uh, it's just, it, those are not colors that I usually work with, so I was very thrown off by um, how I would use it. So this was a um, it's a type of art that I've seen in some places, and I just thought, let's just do that. And I did it while watching the Walton Files, uh, the video that Nexpo did, and it was relaxing. I actually really enjoyed doing that. <laughs> Um, underneath it is another, like, uh, water texture that I tried to do. I failed. Next to it is an eye. So I tried to blend this part, never fucking worked. The eye, however, is kind of well done. Uh, you can tell that it's kind of, it's not like only one color. There is yellow and it's blended all around. Um... It was kind of good. I did it, however, reversed, so it uh, the eye looks not good. Um, and this one was supposed to be half uh, abstract, half uh, whatever, honestly. It's um, something that I did to pretty much distract myself. I wanted to use black ink and all that. Behind, we only have two eyes that I uh, tried the starting, and then I just gave up. Um, these are just, you know, since it is, like, mixed, uh, oh, there's even gold spots on this one. Um, yeah, uh, started reusing gold, I started reusing, like, silver. Um, a lot has been, uh, I got 
even like new um i got new brushes new everything that's why i restarted doing that now for the other one i'm gonna show you because i fucking love my drawings sometimes but most of the times no so first page it's a fail uh the eye here it's also on my wall in the background uh you can't see it but this is like the one model of eye that i've been able to do consistently that looks good i've tried different shades i've tried like different streaks because I've had difficulties with quite a lot, to be honest. Now we have like different textures, we have different pens. Like this doesn't look good. This also. I uh, got, yeah, new pens that I tried, you know, working with how the ink flows when I just don't dip it again and I'm using a brush or my finger. Uh, yeah. That's the first fucking page. Second one, tried doing a drawing and then I fucking gave up because I had so much difficulties. Now, third and fourth page, nothing. I tried doing techniques with water here. How it would blend. Now, this one's pretty well done. Could be better. The rest pretty much failed. And yeah. Now the yes, uh, abstract heart is it's not that bad. I like this one. I don't know what the fuck this is. Um, this this was also fun. Also, um, even this and this and this. Uh, rest. It's a fuck off. However, it was very well. It relaxed me. The more you think about a shape when you do abstract art, the less you're gonna have fun. So just letting go and let your finger um, guide you. Because I did it with my fingers, not a brush. It helped. It helped really, like, a lot. Just if you overthink your drawings when you just want to fucking do abstract, it's not going to work. That's just how it is. Now, I got um, Micron uh, pens. Uh, pencils yeah pens anyways uh, they work great now there is a tiny drawings that my ex did which I told him not to do because it is my binder and I don't do that shit in your binder at that point I really was like I'm about to rip your head off I I suck at art but I don't want any trace of someone else's art in my fucking binder. That's just me. So I'm going to have to remove that. However, the eye that I made next to it, I find it good. I did not mess it up that much. Um, this was to play with shades and everything. The proportions of the face are wrong and it is not on purpose. I just didn't think about it up until now. So I tried like different um, face shape uh, or her hair, how it was gonna be, things like that. Um, I really tried because um, now I have white ink, which I've wanted for so long. White ink, you need quite a few, um, quite a few uh, streaks for it to really appear the way that you want to and the trees are really like how how it shows now i wrote like, i've done like every like differences uh, different streaks different uh hatching that you can do with them and uh, this is like the page two um guide essentially like make uh you know do tests because I've rewatched a video about uh, how to begin with ink and the lady said don't be afraid to make mistakes like don't be afraid to fill your binders notebooks and all that your sketchbooks with 
thousands of ugly drawings. And I took her advice. <laughs> this is the second page of um, abstract art. This one made me feel way better than the first page because I like I really let go. So you have different shapes, you know, I could even turn it like this, but it wouldn't really change how um, I perceive the art in the page. Um, however, he, as much as it did feel good, the um, problem that I have is that the ink stays under my finger and then it looks like dirt. Looks like there's dirt under your finger and then people are like, clean your hands and it's like it's ink that's dried so other eyes i tried this one with a um normal black ink pen there's nothing wrong with it except the fucking streak here because it's so bad um the eye ear which i've put uh white uh ink in there and uh you see like another type of eye here here now this was a character that i started i fucked it up never mind that this and this this is mothman which is on the other page this is funny because uh, he doesn't look that angry um this was a different type of shade and different type of uh, look that i wanted to test i don't like the character however the I here is gorgeous. I actually love the technique that I did in it. Did not mess it up that much. And then we turn the page. And this is when you get attacked by blue. So Mothman is right here. He looks normal. I did not mess it up. Uh, I've retested different colors. I've put notes. This is silver. Like I've tried different type of um, like spreading the ink uh, i wanted to check with aquamarine how it would do how it would spread and you still have the same fucking streak as usual uh the blue here it's prussian blue which is my favorite type of blue you have different like i wanted to try stars for um with uh, the um number one dip pen that i have which fucking sucks by the way um you know i've done different techniques different i'm really just repracticing everything and this is just doodles nothing complicated this is you know a tree we have a cat we got notes also but yeah so you got all of these and you come to a point where yeah like me, like this paper is horrible to experiment with water and alcohol. You got, I can use the blue ink like the black one. However, I have the same issues with the paper, which means that uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, things like, uh, I also use like drinking alcohol. It's the same shit. It just doesn't fucking do its job. It's the paper's fault, by the way. Um, and then we turn around we have an empty page here because uh there's a lot of blue and i don't want it to um uh ruin this page now we tested the red which turns out that it may have it may have turned uh into another color um orange pink I tried making a tree, then I said that uh, I don't have brown, I turned uh, gold because I put uh, silver in it. However, yeah, it turned out that <laughs> this is it. Um, leaves, uh, the shading on the grapes are actually better than I expected. Uh, purple I don't use really that often. This is Mothman again. Mothman is everywhere in my drawings, okay? You're gonna find him one day or another. This is different uh, blending techniques that I tried again. It failed. So the notes here are literally the emerald green turned 
uh, brilliant green and apple green aren't that different um, after a while I noticed that also emerald green has turned uh, teal pretty much uh, however when you mix it uh, you have essentially you have blue and you have green and if you mix it and you know some of the green particles are still on it it's gonna turn your blue into that the, that's an issue that I've been having with quite a few of um, my um, yeah oh another drawing that my ex did I'm gonna have to cover it up with black ink it's about portraits this is just a okay well I mean this one's pretty cool falls through the roof oh hey I got another viewer anyways um other bad art but at least they're uh, good hey good morning and then we have the cringe of having to test my different pens <laughs> so I tested them out I fucked up the eye it was supposed to be galaxy it did not work I tried to blend and I tried to fix it it did not work uh, there's still like more than half of it that I haven't done and then we have just my Jojo um, char style character um, to deal with um, so I haven't finished it I just wanted to uh, continue it and that's pretty much it for my two uh, sketchbooks I am however like continuing them sorry Ugh. and to be honest I love the new techniques I really love like the new techniques that I'm um, having uh, to experiment with uh, when the paper is good when everything's good like I'm scared of still like fucking everything up um, however, however with this I'm having fun and it relaxes me also Mothman is everywhere. I got this patch from... It was so many years ago. Hot Topic. Never put it on. I just leave it on my desk. So it's like a reminder. Um, anyways. Mothman is in a lot of my drawings. Um, on my wall. But... He's cool. <laughs> but uh yeah i'm still experimenting with the uh, drawings and all that i just really have to remove the two drawings that my ex did in my binder because that shit was not supposed to be there he even saw like how angry i was but he still fucking did it um but hey that's how it is well that person left that's okay honey Cause I wasn't done with my fucking conversation. Um, oh, you said what the fuck? Then okay, then there was someone else there. <laughs> no, I don't mind it. <laughs> it's just I have like numbers that keeps changing, like to two and then one, two and then one, two and then one. So I'm just like, okay, just it's okay if you leave, but like, what the fuck? Sometimes it's switch. Don't focus on numbers. Yeah, I, I usually don't. It's just when they change to like from one to two, I'm like, oh, something's not right. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'm ex I, I'm experimenting with the uh, ink. Uh, art wise, it's kind of hard because I tend to overthink a lot. Hey, medicine. It's nice to meet you. Also, good morning, good evening. I don't know <laughs> where you're from, so I can just say hi. <laughs> but yeah, experimenting with art is fun. If you tend to overthink, you may just lose. It may not calm you down. Like I love, I, I love paying attention to details a lot. The problem is, if you overthink, you may ruin it 
and then it's just it, it will bring you down quite fast that's why when i you know use ink with my fingers to do abstract art i don't have to focus on that i just can just put ink on the on the page and be like here this blob of ink like i did in my uh binder not the first one the second one like this this is a mess it really is you can see my like little thingies that have been there on the page and all that except you don't need like for it to make sense it's abstract art well since not like i'm gonna fucking sell this <laughs> but um yeah i feel like black ink has another feel to it however because if we look white ink gives a different like kind of white ink has this um negative picture like when you take a picture and you turn it like you switch the colors to uh, the negative um like your skin will appear blue instead of white well when I experimented with it, like, even at the bottom of the page, it looks bad, but don't mind it. Um, it does look like it's the negative of a, uh, of a picture. Um, I'm still experimenting with white. White is weird, uh, f for an ink to use. For me, it really is. Oh, we have more viewers. Well, hello, everyone. <laughs> um... But yeah, no, white is really fucking weird to use. Um, I have new pens, I have new brushes. Surprisingly, you know the tiny brushes for like models? Um, like D&D models and stuff like that? They're useful. If you want to do tiny details, just take those. Honestly, that's what I did. And I'm super glad because I was able to do uh, details way easier than usually because like i'm struggling um i used to take brushes at the dollar store but that no, no that is over <laughs> even walmart has better brushes than the dollar store from what i've noticed <sighs> it is still tea time but i'm having earl grey <laughs> as tea um, with something that I've shown earlier, this organic sugar uh, coconut. If anybody knows about this and how it's made, that would be interesting because coconut sugar is not something that um, I have heard of, to be honest. <laughs> um, it's super weird for me, but it tastes good. It, it really tastes good. It doesn't really taste like sugar sugar, but like I'm honestly Everything does um, have um, this uh, Special taste. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's weird. It's like my number one Problem it's describing things because I'm not able to fucking do this but yeah, so it's the afternoon here. I'm just relaxing. I wanted to show my art. <laughs> uh, you guys arrived a little bit late, but you know what? We can still relax, you know, chill a little bit. Um, honestly, the tea really helps. Because, <laughs> man, yeah, dealing with a lot these days. I mean, okay. I said that in my other streams, but like, I'm dealing with a lot, but it could be worse. But I don't want to jinx it. Because I only lost my job and my relationship ended. That's pretty much it. It's just, there's so much more that could have <laughs> happened, honestly. But like I said, I'm really glad that it did because now I can refocus on me and feel better like you can work on yourself you have the time to 
work on it. However, it's a lot of effort sometimes and you just want to relax. Just take that time to relax. But I'm super happy with what I've got. Um, I was going to stream a game later, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to stream Soma or After Party, but I may go for a cute game. But even then, like, I'm not sure. The only thing that I've gamed recently, it's uh, <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> it's stupid, but it's Minecraft. It has been a while. And for me, I can just like relax. I can relax. Well, oh. okay, the bunnies are still okay. They're just sleeping. Uh, notification, I'm not sure. It's gonna work out. Oh, God damn it. That's my brother, by the way. It's just that uh, he has a new job that I was proud of. But on this first day, it's not good. It's not good. Oh boy, yeah. Okay. Anyways. This was supposed to be a good time. Sorry for being down a little bit. Um... But yeah, like, these days I can just, I'm very, very looking on the positive side of uh, everything because I feel like my spirit has been crushed a little bit, like being fired after a month when it's, <laughs> when it's my first job. I'm just like, I was trying my best. <laughs> but hey, um, it happens, you know, sometimes you get a job and then you realize, you know, that you were not fitting for it. And that's okay. Because then it gives you still experience with the type of work that you've done, which I've done customer service, and it's not good. The way that people treated me, my god. It's mostly old people that just treat you like shit, pretty much. Um... But I still have this experience. I still know how to deal with it. And I'm going to fit somewhere else. That's just, you know, that's it. I'm going to fit somewhere else. And I'm just happy that I can take time to focus on me. Because my god, do I need it. <laughs> but I think that other than the tea time, I want to do something that has like... I don't know, I want to do a... It's not really ASMR. <laughs> but it's gonna be like cosplay. I really want to do something like that where I can just, you know, speak. Or maybe like be in character. I would have to really work on my role-playing skills because I don't want it to be cringe. But, of course, you know, if I'm not good at something at first, you can, like, I can always practice. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> However, yeah, it's, um, practicing. Because I want to be able to come on here and be like, let's do something. Today, we're gonna do, like, I don't know, a stupid drawing, per example. Uh, I could have a character that is maybe an artist and trying to show people like, hey, for an easy look of um, whatever type of art I want to do, <laughs> this is how you can do it. Um, yeah, I, I think it's something that I want to do, to be honest. I'm just a little bit shy because... Yeah, confidence-wise, I don't have a lot of confidence. Um, however, I believe that if I can practice and if I can you just give time to uh, really roleplay, I can enjoy it and I can maybe have other people enjoy it. Because I don't want it to be like a rant uh, Twitch channel slash YouTube channel. I don't want this. <laughs> Clearly. Because um, there's a few YouTube channels that I listened that were doing rant live streams where they block 
their viewers and they're really not a good person um they're however infamous on the internet um for failing a lot of diets and for having multiple problems by not going to therapy and trying to fix themselves it's it's a rabbit hole that once you get into it you fall deeper and deeper and then you're like oh my god why have i even started this <laughs> but um fuck um this person we don't we don't really um Sorry, that's my stepsister. We're gonna close the door. Let's hope that she doesn't do uh, much noise when uh, she comes in. But yeah, this YouTuber uh, has live streams where she goes off on people. She goes off on her viewers. She goes off on <sighs> reaction channels. It's not good because she's always like angry. And when you ban your viewers, when you ban your members and stuff like that. And then she says that other similar channels than hers uh, have more views. Yeah, no shit. Um, but that's not the type of channel that I want to be. And even though I have a tendency to go on tangents or rants and stuff like that. Just focus. I need to focus. good um other than this oh my god i should make like a review of my favorite tea this is stupid <laughs> but it's something that i've thought um earlier earl grey has to be in my favorites matcha is also very very good matcha and earl grey are like the two types of tea that i can really like relax i also had lavender matcha uh, a while ago from david's tea they don't make it anymore but oh my god this was like heaven and here's a problem it was limited edition uh there was a not that long ago um they brought it back and i couldn't uh buy it at the time but my god do i regret it because it really was like heaven um, in a cup. Other than that, we still have the tiny Cheerios, which we will eat. But yeah, it's still raining outside. As long as it doesn't turn into a storm, I'm good. Also, pretty donut cup. It's not um, the only weird cup that I have. I should really do a tea time thing. Because then I can show up all of my cool cups. <laughs> drink different tea. And just relax. Mm. So, I'm really tasting the... Um, coconut sugar and it's not that bad it really is soft however the only time that i don't taste it it's when i do my coffee because i've i've put the coconut sugar in my coffee and to be honest it doesn't taste like anything because i put uh, some international delight into it and i mean it's pumpkin spice so it you don't really taste um, the sugar. But yeah. Oh. Boy, am I glad of this. So, winter seasons. The winter season uh, is going to come back. Don't know what I'm going to do. But I know that it's going to be very cold in... Uh, Canada. However, it could be worst. It honestly could be worst. The uh, the issue comes really with the fact that we have um, 
sometimes like a lot of snow and it's just hard to get out of the driveway or if you're on foot I can tell you your life will be hell you can be 30 minutes to 45 minutes late if you're trying to walk somewhere and that's if the sidewalks have been like um, taken care of <laughs> like if the snow has been removed because otherwise you're just walking in feet of um, kind of high of snow but it, it slows you down it, it really does uh, however cold weather means a lot of blankies and some cool socks <laughs> But no, with the thermal socks and just like sweaters and all that, I, I'm i looking forward to it. Other than that, uh, not Christmas. I'm <laughs> not really looking forward to Christmas because it's a family event and um, in the family department, we are not that great. However, we're doing good. It's just it's not going to be a giant Christmas with, you know, all of the family and all that. We don't need this. We need to just like be by be our most um, important members. But otherwise, hell yeah, Christmas is also gonna be great. <laughs> um, other than this, I have thought about you know different series that I wanted to do. And just like, other than relaxing, I still have to write all of my dreams. I am very late from my dream journals. I got two. However, I need to finish the first one. And... But here's a good thing. I cleaned out my desk. My desk have been a mess in the past. But now I could actually like sit down and just write my dreams. And as silly as it sounds, I really like it. It's something that I used to enjoy, but when I was in a relationship, I just didn't have the time for it. But weird fucking dreams I'm still having. Like this week, I think I was in a special school and there was a town that we had to uh, get through. Problem is the town has been like half abandoned, half just like left to um um the forest to just take over so you walk through buildings that look like they've um they've gone like through um ages of just being abandoned while other buildings just look like they were freshly abandoned there was just like no one it's like oh my god okay uh, however, there were okay. One rooms had uh, one room had uh, super big windows, and like these um, beautiful red carpet, and uh, the walls were like a type of um, sunset orange, but it was so soft, very like past not pastel, but it was like warm colors, uh, with super beautiful uh, wood um, furniture into the room. It was absolutely gorgeous. Like, details like this, I want to note them. Because not only is it, like, beautiful, but, like, my brain decided, hey, this room, it's detailed. And then you have, like, other buildings that you just feel like you can't go in. But that's dreams. It's like your brain... Being like in a video game, just saying like, no, you can't go there. We just haven't put anything in there. <laughs> so fuck off. My um, <laughs> I'm streaming, get the fuck out. She is still high. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we have like times where it does that. Other times where it doesn't. This is why I don't stream with people at home, because usually it is a mess. And seeing as um, she still has a, it's not like 
a good time. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot my PlayStation 4 is still uh, on. So there's also that. So she can see it from the uh, living room. But that's just me testing if the connection actually works. Um, yeah, other than that, cosplay. Video games. Makeup. I wanted to do like special uh, videos for YouTube. Um, however, I haven't got the time and my phone actually doesn't have uh, that much storage. I'm just gonna have to deal with that and fix it. I mean, it's not that hard to fix a, uh, just make more space. We delete memes. We delete videos. Podcast that I, uh, that I also have. But, um, yeah, other than that, I wanted to do, uh, not Pokemon related content because it's not a thing that I know a lot. I just play Pokemon Go. It's been like three days, but it's cool. I, I, I've talked about it earlier, but like Pokemon Go is actually pretty fun and I'm enjoying it so far. Plus, I have a few like Poke stuff like near me, not that far. And in then like what, I could go for a an hour long walk and catch quite a lot of them. However, now it's raining, so I don't think I will. But yes, I'm definitely gonna do like walks. And well, I did promise, you know, bunny content uh, related to my rabbits because they're doing fine. Whoa, it's a big yawn. Um, and since I do have like a um, a desk uh, thingy, I have a I have a ring light. However, I'm not gonna blind him with the ring light. Um, I may do bunny related content uh, at some point because it's hard to film them. <laughs> even it's hard to even pet them sometimes. Um, yesterday, however, I checked on them. Um, Google because I noticed that my bunnies now uh, After running around they just like to lay down Except they lay down facing me and looking at me And they're just really relaxed on the bed and looking at me like staring at me Here's the thing because I can feel their little stares When I look at them, they're they're still looking at me Just doing their stuff Turns out that it's normal for bunny behavior to do that. Um, if they're not begging for food, which they are not, um, they're not asking for my attention because I go and pet them and after just a few minutes they're like, meh, fuck off. And then they move away. <laughs> um, turns out that if they are relaxed, they're just staring out um, they can be uh, looking out for predators, they can be sleeping with their eyes open, which apparently is a thing, or they can stare at you out of love. And that is something that, <laughs> it, just, it makes me happy. Um, in the mornings they've been, uh, when I release them, uh, they've been coming to uh, sleep next to me. So, it ain't that bad! To be honest, bunny related content, probably, <laughs> people of good taste, hey, <laughs> Razan. So, uh, I saw it in the Discord yesterday that uh, you actually uh, did succeed into beating uh, Dracula. And, uh, <laughs> not that, like, far after I actually left <laughs> the, the stream because I was tired but uh, congratulations on uh, beating Dracula my god it's been like five minutes max <laughs> I know that's what like, pissed me off because I'm like 
I was getting ready to sleep. I, I see the notification in the um, in Discord and I check and I'm like, oh my fucking god. Uh, but I'm actually glad that you did, like that that you were able to uh, beat him, cause uh, the only thing that is sad is because I didn't get to see it. But, I'm hoping that you play the other games. Just cause I can't, I, I, I wanna see um, his son. I know the name. The <laughs> um, I just, uh, I know I'm gonna pronounce it badly. But, uh, yeah. Van Teddy is dead. But yeah, we're not talking. I mean, we're not talking. <laughs> well, Castlevania 2, his next fall. Yeah, it is next. Either Friday or Saturday. Not sure yet. Cool. Because um, I'm definitely going to be there. Other than that, yeah, I planned on probably like doing some Minecraft tonight. I don't know what game I'm going to be streaming, to be honest. But hey, we're going to see. Right now is just relaxing time and tea time. <sighs> oh, I don't have much uh, Cheerios left, but you know what? It happens. Other than this, there might be like a few days that oh yeah i uh, i have to redo my whole schedule on twitch because obviously oh neat i won oh i won't be there i got other obligations of crying on WWE because of their last pp view i got a ending i'm still pissed about it oh no It's sad that I didn't get to um, be there or something happened. I think it was last Sunday. Yeah, I couldn't be there, but what happened? <laughs> Did someone win and they weren't supposed to? <laughs> Cause I mean I could I could still check on their channel, um, see if they're like they uploaded a video of um, the last one. Oh my god, I might be hungry after all. <laughs> um, cause like okay. On Discord, I haven't really been there. I've been into one Discord uh, group, which um, has some art-related uh, stuff and um, a streamer that I watch. Um, however, yeah, I haven't been um, watching uh, wrestling recently. Plus, it's not like I could enjoy it. I could enjoy it. No, someone win like he should, but with a goddamn stu- Oh, no. Knowing wrestling. Knowing what I've seen about wrestling. I'm kind of curious, but I know I'm going to be disappointed if I ask what the fuck happened. Um... <laughs> uh. But yeah, what I was about to say, it's 
it's not like I could really enjoy um, wrestling because of um, you know who um, my ex he just did not get into it and I'm like yeah but it, it's cool I like it instead of being like yeah he just kind of like dismissed it and when you don't like something but your partner likes it just say that it's just a naughty subject or it's just not something that you're into but don't break their spirit like that because <laughs> then it's just like it could affect their little heart um it's just other than Razan, I couldn't really speak about wrestling and, you know, view stuff. Because uh, I remember I really got into it for the uh, women that do wrestling. I tried to watching a match <laughs> on YouTube with uh, my ex-boyfriend and uh, he absolutely zoned down and was like, yeah, this is boring, can we watch something else? I'm just like... I'm watching something where at my house this is like my TV, my controller. <laughs> just give me a minute, I guess. This is it's just the way that he said it. Like, god damn dude. We're not watching someone um you know, killing themselves or something like that, so it's just I don't know. It's just his reaction, the way that he uh, went on about it, I did not like it. There are more polite ways to say it. But that's not his forte. But. Another reason why it's over. <laughs> mm. Other than that, I've done my makeup for today. It is not perfect clearly because it uh, stops here instead of going over I do have my fake eyelashes that are not that bad I just didn't curl my other ones because I don't have an eyelash curler it's on my list of stuff to buy by the way mm-hmm but yeah other than that oh yeah halloween is coming up i'm going to put to i'm going to a party this halloween uh, however because of covid i may keep my distance uh, i do have my uh vaccinations both doses and to be honest I'm just kind of in the mood for kind of socializing, I guess. But candy corn, always good. Apparently, people don't like them. That's okay. However, like I'm not a big drinker. I'm not a big socializer. Um, <coughs> there's one friend which I'm gonna meet again. And uh, she's super nice. Okay, the main event was Finn Baylor versus Roman Reigns. Oh, for the Universal title. The match was great until the last two minutes where both wrestlers were almost dead outside of the ring. Then we heard... Oh no. Some earth beat. Like the intro of Baylor. He woke up in a Super Saiyan mode. <laughs> oh no. Daddy, what the fuck? You know what? I didn't even watch this and I'm pissed. I mean, we're seeing like stupid stuff happening, um, but wow.
Sometimes, huh? Sometimes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought my cow was, was waking up. Guess she's not. Um. Yeah. Um, if I was there, I would have been pissed off too. One detail I missed, it's they played as the team while he was beating up Rain. It was so perfect, then the fucking rope broke. God damn. Yeah. Duh. Wow. Well, it's one hell of a way <laughs> to win. God. Wow. <laughs> mm. Let's think about something better. <laughs> uh, this week after I dropped um, my ex's uh, switch off to his place. I came back to um I came back um to my friend's apartment. It was so cool cuz like the friend has two dogs. One 11-year-old Labrador and another 1-year-old uh, Shetland. And oh my god, both dogs were really super fun. <laughs> Kind of cheered me up, you know, to have uh, dogs that um, go around you and um, they're like happy to see you, but they don't know you. Dogs are cool like that. Um, they were well behaved. Whiskey, at least the old dog, really was well behaved. Uh, the tiny Shetland, however, she is one year old. She can. <laughs> has like ADHD, she's all over the place, um, very lively, just ah, good doggos. <laughs> Four days later, I'm still pissed about not that he lost, but the fact that it was so goddamn awful. So yes, I need to review that tonight. I understand. This is just really bad. So you're gonna be um, on stream with someone else, right? You know, like uh, usual when you review um, the pay-per-view of wrestling. Oh my god, my feet. Sorry about that. But yeah, cute though goes. I haven't saw birds. That friend has a rabbit. Super big, but yeah. Nice. I'm probably gonna check that tonight. Depending what time, but yeah, I wanna drop in. I passed a super good evening. And like I said, like I thought of dropping off, you know, my extra switch and you know seeing him again would, would have been stressful. Hell no. It was super chill. Don't worry. We were both pissed with that ending, but it will be a good show. I hope so. Yeah, plus, I mean... Ooh. Remember when um they did a um they they, they sponsored um for a movie which I can't fucking remember the name of the movie but uh remember in the middle of the match when they decided to um bring out zombies <laughs> that was special that was a very special pay-per-view. <laughs> I think that was also my first pay-per-view that I saw. 
Or I think the second, I'm not sure. Uh, it, it, it starts around 7, maybe later, but it's close to that. Oh, that's actually perfect. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Oh, we've gone down to two viewers. Zombie was stupid, but a bit fun. Exactly! It was. Ugh. Oh yeah. A few streams ago, I tried to open this by moving my finger along and then pulling it up. I still have the fucking scar. I don't know why the plastic cut me that deep, but anyways, it happens. Um, at seven or later than that, it's okay. I'm gonna be um probably washing for a while and then leaving because um I'm gonna have to get the rabbits out around that time. So they'll be like running around the room and um. jumping on me to come and sniff me that is cute very very cute because like you're just chilling on your chair watching videos and then oh there's a rabbit on your lap and it's coming up to your face here to sniff your face and then climbing here because it wants to climb and then it turns around because you're rubbing your face in it because it's so soft and he just goes down and then leaves rabbits are fun <laughs> but yeah even yesterday when they were staring at me i thought they needed affection so every time they did it i sat down next to them and i petted them for them to do the noise with their mouth when they were like really happy and relaxed and all this I wanted to um to at least you know pet them for a while and I did and it went super great and then I gave them kisses and then they decided that it was enough <laughs> yeah no bunnies are like super cute um I met a friend um of a friend she has a lion's head mixed with an angora. He's big. Her bunny is big. And um, I honestly didn't think um, that it was going to get that big. So I'm like, her bunny, four years old. Mine, six months. So I'm like, I hope they're not going to be that big at four years old. They're supposed to be like miniatures, so I don't think they're gonna get like super big. But their cuteness knows no bound. But yeah, when I'm able to pet them and they just stay, um, when they close their eyes, it's just, oh, so cute. But yeah, these days they've been uh, coming to see me more and more. I think that in a way they know how I feel, but um, they're also excited because now they only have me. You know, they don't have any other distraction. They um, like we go by my rules, and it's good. But they still do have a schedule. Three hours in the morning, three hours at night, during the evening, they, they just sleep. Like even them, they're just laying down, still sleeping. But yeah. I wish I could like let them free a little bit more. But I already have uh, Mimi, my cat, meowing so much that I... <sighs> I don't want to cause like problems and get a noise complaint, you know, 
Why the mall? Control the horizon says uh, we need to check up on your cat because it keeps meowing like an idiot. Um, but it's just because she has uh, anxiety, separation anxiety. But yeah. Okay, yeah, Nico is staring at me again. Sometimes, okay, like this morning at 4 a.m., they were making noise and biting uh, the bars of um, the cage. So I just got up, all, uh, you know, half awake, like, what's going on? And I come check on them. There's nothing wrong. Um, so usually they want food, so I give them a, a mini handful of pellets. And then I just go back to sleep. They eat. And then they just go back to laying down and having fun. So I'm just like, okay. But when I get them out, they're super excited. And, you know, just like children, they'll run around like crazy. And then after, they'll come to you because they're tired. Or they, well, they, I mean, they also have times where they want to check up on me. Like I was half asleep this morning and I woke up with a bunny like right here. <laughs> And uh, when I opened my eyes and all that, I was like, what the fuck? Because in my dream, it was a cat. I wake up, it's a bunny. <laughs> so it's just a little bit confusing. But yeah. Mm. I'm really enjoying my mornings and evenings with them. It's crazy, because like, there are mornings where there will be... Um, Hey, Neo! It's been a while. Wait, well, yeah, there will be mornings where they'll be like super excited and then others they'll just be super calm and like just laying next to me. Which I should post pictures of that on Instagram. <laughs> Ugh. A while. <laughs> Well, I haven't been, uh... Well, I think it's been a few days, right? <laughs> um... Yeah, since the a new beginning. Yeah, it's just been a few days. I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> I don't know what... Yeah, it's been like at least three days. So it, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I guess I'm used to say that. Like, oh, it's been a while. But, nothing, <laughs> not much has been going on. Um, okay, we got more rain. Yeah. I thought I talked to you like yesterday. Did I stream yesterday or it was the previous day? And I can't even remember. It's been at least three days. Um, but yeah. A lot has happened, but at the same time, not a lot has happened uh, since then. Which is fun. <laughs> the days are so weird to me. To be honest, to me too. With everything that's going on, it's just... I'm losing, like... Uh... Time, again, I guess. Um, I just don't know, like, what day we are, and it's just... Yeah. Since I don't have a sleep schedule, the days can blend together. Yeah, yeah, me too. Sorry for my sudden silence. I finished up my registration to a Stanley Center. Oh! So, wait, Razan, you're going back to, um... You're going... Okay, wait, um... <laughs> Is it like Cegep or... Just like finishing uh, high school to get your diploma? Like just, yeah. Damn. Uh, 
Definitely, yeah. I thought it was, uh, yeah, the, this kind of school. One of my friends used to go there. Let's just say it's not a place that I would go. <laughs> um, but if it's better than the school that I went to, uh, Nouvelle Horizon, you'll have a good time. <laughs> not me. But, uh, Neo, yeah, I understand what you mean. The, the days just blend together and... I'm at a point where um, I wake up <laughs> during the night and just am on my phone. It's fine, it's not my first try there. Well, at least. Because like, it took me at least like five or so years with uh, a heavy depression to uh, finish my high school um, to get my diploma it really took me a long time to um, to finish it but I made it and now I have my diploma so now I can apply for more serious jobs but um, yeah I've gone back to uh, <laughs> just um, yeah, waking up during the night, just watching if the sun is up or not, and I don't know. It's also because, like, I'm having coffee at really strange hours, and then I wake up and I'm like, huh, I'm not tired. It's just the coffee being very late. <laughs> what is also strange is that... Um, the key on my keyboard is broke, so I keep having to use a virtual keyboard to click on the S key or my sentences look weird. Oh my god. I have very much realized how much we use the letter S. <laughs> oh my god. Um, the letter F on my uh, very old laptop um, had fallen off. And we had to like really really press down on it <laughs> for it to work <laughs> so i understand the pain of uh realizing that a lot of words you know have s's and um it uh, it's so bad when it happens <laughs> uh. <laughs> but yeah, no, w w when that shit happens, it's just... Oof. Plus, if it's a laptop, it's different, because, like, a keyboard can be replaced, but... It's, it's, it's one hell of um, a thing on a laptop. I mean, yeah. Hmm. Okay, now the tea is not fun anymore because uh, I got quite a lot of sugar, so I'm just going to blend it with water. Guess that gives me an idea. What if I take the later key off and just press the rubber inside? I mean, it worked for me. And then after a while, the rubber just fucking left, so we just had to... Uh... It took a stupid voice just point out in that time. <laughs> That's gonna be like more complicated. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I'm just emptying my water bottle uh, to my tea. Whew. I like the taste, except towards the end, it's just like too much for me. But hey, so far, I I mean, I do have an old laptop, which is slow AF, so when I have to, like, when I stream, I go to just 
you know, with the old laptop, upload, uh, download the uh, VOD and then just put it on YouTube. No, it didn't do anything. Fuck. <laughs> maybe your laptop, um, maybe that key just really just has given up on life. Damn. Yeah, it was a little annoying for when I played a game too. Yeah, shit, the S key is support. Yeah, when you play on PC, the S key is important, so oof. Damn. I mean, I never really played on PC. But yeah, don't mind me, I'm just daring the moment where I'm gonna be. Virtually stamp a 76 of Touch Wrestling promoter. Oh my god. Uh, I think the last wrestler I heard of is. Well, was a serial killer. I think it was in Mexico. Um, it was a woman. And um, she used to kill old people uh, in the street. By the way, that case really blew my mind off because, funny enough, um, people were looking for a young man because they were sure that it was a man doing all these crimes. But no, surprise! Um, I think that Rissler... Uh, took she used one of her technique to actually end um old ladies but yeah that was fucked i learned about that not that long ago and i was like oh my god it's a piece it's a pc keyboard i have done some dumb things to my keyboard the ones i get are about a hundred dollar each and i've gone through about five or six of them Jesus Christ, Neo. <laughs> I mean, I've never really gamed on a PC, so I don't know how, um, you know, changing. But if you like true crimes and wrestling, I recommend Dark Side of the Ring. Worst of both worlds. Yeah. Okay, so for Neo, I never had to replace a keyboard. And for Razana. Uh, yeah, I think it was recommended to me, or you talked to me about it. I can't remember which one. But yeah. Oh my god, this one's good. This one, ooh. I just can't wait to have my contact lenses. Yeah, I'm quite reckless with my technology and money. I am reckless with only money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I... I understand. I mean, I did. Okay, the worst that I do sometimes is uh, like hit my controller on my lap, because out of anger, but just like. I mean, squishy legs, okay? You can't fucking break anything i mean you i could break something on my leg but the controller is not that cheap <laughs> as i would i'm just reckless uh that i know but it's part of you contact lenses yeah to um uh cosplay uh, the cosplay ones, they make your um, uh, eye bigger, which gives it a more anime look with the makeup. It's one thing that I really want to buy, and I think in the next few days, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah! 
it's really cool. I really want to go back to cosplaying. That's why um, I'm experimenting like makeup wise. But yeah. Yes, tell me about anger and gaming. <laughs> Just yesterday, Shane, that was a um, that was a good <laughs> uh, anger stream. It's both anger and disappointment. It's just, mm. ah, cool. Yes, it is cool. Cause I want to do like more stuff with this channel and my YouTube channel. Damn, it's too raining. But yeah. One of my favorite games. <laughs> it is what he, what you keep saying. Uh, I mean, one of my favorite game. Not that I realize it. My favorite games only have like. Um, they have water underwater stuff, which um, I'm scared of the ocean so scared of the deep so yeah um but they're not really frustrating there's some stuff we can do if you can do screen share on pc or laptop um my laptop is i think way 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 too slow to uh do that um i've tried to be on a call on discord once and it fucked the entire computer. It really is old. Uh, there's almost no storage and uh, um, no storage uh, on the laptop. It, it's hell. I would have to buy a new one, but I don't have the money. But I'm keeping this. Yeah, I. I it's really fucked. Uh, however, I am keeping this option um, in. Uh, it in mind because um, it would be fun. I already said I'm sorry it won't happen again. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Oh, my legs. Meme, that's gross. Yeah, if you have a little storage, then that will sh slow your computer. Yeah. Um. I would have to, um, uh, talk to my brother about that, because he knows more about computer than me, because I fucking suck, um, but yeah, it is something that I do wanna, god, from what I heard, Discord will come on, oh, sorry, that could actually change um, the game uh, for me. <laughs> I think it's recommended to keep like 20% free to maintain optimal running. Okay. I'm gonna try to remember that. Um, if Discord is coming to PlayStation 4, they better like make it run well. Because like on my phone, if I'm watching like a korean stream um and all of a sudden i can't hear anything or i'm just like out of the call it's not fun or if we're doing a D and D, and then all of a sudden i just <laughs> yeah you didn't hear it from me <laughs> uh wasn't there like an upgrade not that long ago I just saw it in one of uh, our Discord and I just was like, meh, fuck off. Because I don't want to go in like... In, um, in the Discords that we have that has a certain person in it. Not at the moment, at least. I kind of want to wait for time to pass. Um, however, he is in the discord group that i am also in okay this this is annoying me 
There you go. So now it's going to stop being in my eye and annoying me so much. Yes. We got the fox ears on. Got everything. We're back. But, um, yeah. Also, don't worry. He won't come in the Korean streams. Also, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm also 100% sure of that. He, like, joined what? Not even once, I think, just to tell, uh, I think he joined once just to, like, tell us, Hey, what's up? And then fucking left. Yeah, that was awkward. And, uh, other than that, you know, he said that he, um, he, uh, you know, didn't want to uh, do the D&D if, you know, there's only Tanya and, uh, uh, so am I. Okay. Awkward, that's it. Exactly! Like, don't fucking spread it. Also, red is sus. But, um, yeah, no, it's just, it's one of those things, like, we can't, sometimes we can't have fun. That's, that's how it is. It's either we're being reckless and stupid in a D&D, &D, which sometimes is fun, sometimes it's not. And other times it's just like, dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and let us enjoy what we're doing. Don't be such a downer. But yeah. That is something that I'm not gonna miss. Like, I know I can be depressed and have, like, really bad thoughts, but even then, I am trying to fake it till I make it. Yeah, but for the D&D, I get him as uh, it's hard to carry a game when other players doesn't speak. But yes, he pushed the envelope a bit. He did. Um, I also know that, like... I have difficulties role playing, but I think I improved because the last game I actually did try to role play. Now, for the first time, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was bad, but you know, I did my best. <laughs> for the first time, it's not that bad. It's just like, in a way, it, it came from a place of judgment. That, that's what I understood it as. But yeah. Holy shit, my sister just said a spider crawled on her pillow. Oh. Oh, I, I've had that happen once this summer and uh, you bet your ass I was freaked out about my window after that. Don't worry, I won't push my player to roleplay like an actor. Yeah, no, the, that's, that's what's good. But also, like, we have fun. Yeah, cause, um, Neo, my uh, window, I opened the screen to clean it and, um, spiders like to pass under the screen uh, to reach my room. Uh, I put tape on that, uh, because there is a spider that, you know, slipped in. I saw it and it went on my pillow and then on my bed. I, I screamed the fuck up. <laughs> You ain't gonna do dumb. They have less spiders. Um, yes, but during the summer, it's hell. We have lots of spiders during the summer. It's not fun. But, uh, yeah. Um, Razan, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, they, they, they don't bite, I think. Most of them just don't bite. They actually avoid the humans and all that. It's just to have a spider with, um... On my pillow freaked me out. But now I'm glad because they're like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I put tape on uh, the window screen. All around. Never had a problem about a spider. After that. And I'm fucking glad of it. But yeah, like... <sighs> Role playing is... A little bit difficult for me because I'm shy 
I'm scared of, you know, being cringy. I don't want to uh, make other players, like, feel embarrassed. Oh my god, I am keeping my window closed permanently now. <laughs> um, the window is fine, it's just... Okay, for, for the summer, uh, we do have a lot of spiders. The problem is the window just doesn't open all the way, so I'm stuck with no wind. And at 36 degrees, I don't want my bunnies to um, die of a heat stroke. But yeah, it's just the summer was... Um, I assure you, for sure, you got uh, a lot improved in the department. Yeah. But it's just, also, there's there's a different aspect that, like, when it comes to him, like, he's done this for a long time, and, like, maybe Tanya didn't do this for a long time, but when I'm just, like, trying to have fun with you, Tanya, and, you know, me, and he just comes and shits, over this like being oh it's cringe oh it's this oh it's that and it's just like <sighs> just shut up <laughs> you know the time that uh everyone cancelled so we stayed in a um in a group the three of us and we talked and it was fucking fun yeah, he may have missed that, but uh, I told him, nah, it's fucking fun. I'm having fun. But yeah. I mean, he did also, like, shit on the fact that me and my friends were in the car playing Pokemon Go. Uh, this week. So, you know. I just said that. <laughs> but we can afford, because we can go long distance. Not you! Anyways, <laughs> I did not say the not you, but I said like, but we can afford to do long distance like poke stops and all that. And then he left even more pissed. But you know what? You call us cringe. I call you poor. <laughs> Actually, there. But that's not the point. Like it's just like you want to have this attitude. I'm gonna bring it back to you. And it's just, yeah. I want to have fun. <laughs> Shane, I am also poor and cringe. We are both. <laughs> it's just like, we're having fun. Why do you have to shit on it? Why do you have to be this unpleasant person? Let's just say it. So I just, yeah, I took his attitude and slapped it back. Did he like it? Probably not, because he left in a hurry and also looked even pissed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I honestly don't care. I want to have fun. I want to be able to simp for characters again without fucking feeling guilty. I want to be able to do everything like I did before, which I am doing, and so far, oh man, it feels good. It's been a while, like, I miss this. I miss being able to watch a show, like, there's an anime that uh, we started watching together, he did not like it. Now, I understand this show is not for everybody, but it's one of my favorite anime. <laughs> so it's like, fake it. <laughs> Instead of being like, this is cringe. Uh, just like certain... Um, uh, I, I don't know. Was that a yoey? <laughs> Please say yes. No, it wasn't. It's uh, it was a blue exorcist. So um, it's an action anime with demons in it. There's no yoey. 
No, I'm not forcing anyone to. Uh, I I don't even watch slash read yaoi anymore. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> Uh, it's just like, yeah, no, it's just towards the end, I just, oh, nice, Neo, but like, okay, Blue Exorcist has this type of vibe to it, it's really just different, and it's still something that I really like, it's, you know, the first anime that I watched, and it's just like, there is weirder anime than that. Like, I know, like, you're just much like of a JoJo fan, but like, come on. <laughs> you know, the manga, didn't read it, but I know it. It's actually pretty good. Like, throughout the years, it has changed. I really love the manga a lot. I got pretty far into it. It might have been a, um, another one, if not, but, um, yeah, like, the anime is pretty good, the, uh, soundtrack is pretty good, the characters are very interesting, I got confused with Dr. Grayman for some reason, oh, I haven't watched it yet, but apparently this shit is good too, but I don't think it's the kind of anime that he would have been like, this shit slaps. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have said that, but it's just like, hey. It would betray my age, but the first time I have watched <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, yeah. There was once where um, we watched one episode or two of Dragon Ball Z. I liked it, but I was like... Yeah, I've only seen like a few episodes and I was heavily confused, um, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty long. Like, I mean, it, it's not like one piece uh, type of long, but it is very, very long. And it's not something that I want to get into because it's going to take so long. To just go through that. But yeah. And it's just like. There's some stuff that I stopped showing him. Because. It always came from not a. I don't know. I, I got the sense that I was being judged. From him. And I just. Was like fuck off. In the beginning of Dragon Ball Z is a continuation of the original Dragon Ball, so there might be some confusion. Oh, okay. That might explain a lot. Yep. That, that actually explains a lot. Because I think they put Dragon Ball Z um, on Netflix. Which is like the main reason um, why you clicked on it. But yeah. I do not recommend the Kai version unless you first watch the music of the dub. It's about like different and then the sub version. Oh. I'm not used <laughs> to... Um, uh, dub, but recently I've, I've seen some, uh, dubbed anime. It's just fun. It, it's funny. <laughs> I recommend the, without the, Because, okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm used to ha watching anime um, with subtitles, but the original voices, which I can recognize the voice actor, usually, unless it's too different, and I'm like, 
Wait a minute. I feel like I know you, but I just don't. Like, I recognize um, the voice actor for uh, Rohan from Jojo. Um, I now recognize uh, the voice actor for uh, Gojo from um, Jujutsu Kaisen. But there's like other voice actor, the, like the one that did the, the voice of Josuke. He's done so many other roles that I know of. It's really like, what the hell? <laughs> Um, also, the voice actor for Koichi has done a lot of work. But like, when you watch animes for so long, you start recognizing the voice actors just by their voices. It's pretty cool. Not a fan of the dub theme since I didn't grow with it. The French theme song is different. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, it, it has been, like, translated probably in many, many languages. Usually sub is better, and there's a different music for dub. It is, yeah, usually worst. But dub, this is the exception. I may check on that. Because, like... Yeah, go in the litter correctly. Um, I haven't really got like really into um, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, hey, Kiwi! It's <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> yes, you're here again. It's it's pretty cool to. Uh, uh, how long? A few days, I think. Also a few days. <laughs> but the English voice actor are great. Christopher for life. Huh. I would have to honestly check all of this out. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. It, it's just... Sometimes the dub can be, like, worse or be better. Depending on, um... Except... If it's a voice actor that does, um, uh, like, I'm doing great, I'm just forgetting words. The English uh, voice actors that do, like, uh, little anime girls, like lollies and stuff like that, they have to do, like, high pitch, and, uh, it's annoying. There's one anime that I only want to watch for one dub actor, and nothing else. <laughs> Martin Cruz is a great voice actor. Yeah, Chris Buck is very good. He's in a lot of dub anime, huh? How are you doing? I drank four days straight. Oh god, now I have one day pause and now I'm drinking again. You want to hear about the nightmares I've had? Sure, QV. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> God damn. Okay, both of the bunnies are s I'm sleeping. Oh, like lucid dreaming. I I have those from time to time. But yeah, I've had I have a lot of realistic dreams, but that's because of a uh, one of my medication. It's a strange side effect, but it is happening. Anyways, <laughs> I saw my dog getting injured, and she was injured by my mother's drinking, who was just stuck on the floor, surrounded by... Ugh. Mm. 
Oh, it's my mother. Why did you injure my dog? Jesus Christ, that, yeah, that is a, a nightmare. I had a nap before with my headphones on. And I had a dream. Guys, I could still hear the music I was listening to when I was awake. Oh! Neo, that's something that uh, doesn't happen to me. I mean, kinda. Um, most of the times I do sleep with my headphones. Uh, to not disturb my cat and um, my bunnies. And uh, I fall asleep. Sometimes I can still hear the audio. Sometimes it's just, you know, I listen to like rain ambiance. So it's just like, ugh. She just got her head up and said, mm, I don't remember. Lucid dreams. Yeah, I think it's different from drunk dreams. It's the same thing when you take drugs your dreams will be affected by it too uh i haven't drank in quite a while so i do not know um if drunk dreams are different to be honest don't should dare even start no i'm not that um Honestly, I've stopped, and it's just like from once in a while, and six days sober. That's good to know, uh, Razan, because I know that uh, you also used to have uh, a tiny problem <laughs> with drinking. But yeah, I just I don't like how it makes my stomach feel. And since I've had a lot of uh, stomach issues with the, you know, sensitivity and all that, I'm just not really in a mood where, uh, like, if I start drinking, it's just not. But yeah, I'm just going to open the window because it's, like, starting to get too warm for my own liking. so sorry not spooky when I'm getting up on the bed oh ciders are cool though um, I think the last time that I drank was like a apple cider and I've had pear and after that I just Stopped. Hey, Mimi. What are you doing, Kitty? Hey. Come on. Why are you looking? Oh, you hit your head. Oh. Okay, so you just want to lick me? It's gross. I may, I may finish soldier, I can manage. Apple cider, yeah that's cider, it's made from. <laughs> did you have a great tea time? I did actually. Hello mummy. Um, I still have my cup. Um, I've had Earl Grey. Uh, no, not today. Green tea is going to be for uh, later this week. Uh, I also have matcha. <laughs> I've had uh, Earl Grey. It's pretty good. Uh, well, I didn't have biscuits, so I pour myself a little bowl of uh, Cheerios. <laughs> Cereals. Um, but yeah, apple and pear green tea is nice. I've... Um, I have a cupboard full of tea and honestly 
since it's getting cold, um, I can go back to uh, my cupboard. <laughs> but uh, I have a lot of uh, fruity uh, tea, including including uh, blueberries. I have cherry and a few others. But uh, honestly, green tea, green tea is so good. I knew you were <laughs> gonna do that. Okay. No. Computer in the old gray You don't even want pets, you want to lick me, that's what you want. You do realize that this is a... Uh... Ah, you're gonna go on the desk. Okay! Oh god, you're sliding with me. I am so sorry for that. Oh, you motherfucker. Ah, I love you, kitty, but come on. The blueberry season was awful this season. It was too dry because of the heat. Honestly, <laughs> Mimi. Yeah, um, for us, they were like they were tiny. They they weren't as big and as good as as usual. Can you please get off? Um, but yeah, the um, like I have a lot of fruity tea. I also have like different spice blends also. Mango and berries. Oh, you know I've had um a tea that was blueberry and this. I think I uh, I don't remember if it was from IKEA that I got this tea, which uh, doesn't sound good. But they also had cherry blossom, which is pretty good. Um, uh, maybe you want to get out. That's okay. Come on. Hi, sweet. Thank you. No, you had a nice nap. Yeah. Now we don't be confused about what we're gonna do next. And we don't stay in front of the door. Okay. It was Captain Jean-Luc Picard from Star Trek Next Generation. That's one of its catchphrases. Oh! Man, I haven't watched Star Trek. <laughs> Tobias, what the fuck? Why are your kitties and cats just love you? You do, uh, they do. They, my cats really do love me. <laughs> but she had a nap um, earlier, so she's uh, just a bit slow. But yeah. Oh, it's hard not to cringe at the question that Tobias asked. <laughs> uh, yeah, cats do nap quite a lot, and um, it's just she's been meowing a lot because I have um, I have uh, I keep her out just because uh, during the night she likes to lick me. And um, I obviously don't like that. But yeah, they are gods for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, oh, cats are. They're special. But yeah, it's. Um... Hey. It's just she sleeps during this, uh, the afternoon, and then she just meows all the time. But yeah. What what cat do nap in what world are we living in? <laughs> um, you know what has the cutest noise ever? A porcupine. I haven't heard them. I know that um, 
beavers. Wait, no, I, I think I've heard the noise of a porcupine. It's actually pretty cute. Or was it beavers? Man, I can't remember. I've done like I, I I've seen some of the damage that porcupines can uh, do, but um, okay, they can, they're kind of cute. However, I'm used to like um. Oh man, what's the name for that? Oh, hedgehogs. Yeah, have you been touched by their pricks? Uh, never. I've never gone close to one, I think. Like to all like the retreats and stuff like that that um I've done to uh like wildlife centers and stuff like that uh, when I was younger. I don't think I've ever seen a um <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sanic. I don't think I've uh, seen or touched a uh, porcupine. Neither, neither. <laughs> I'm in Finland for heaven's sake. Um, <laughs> yeah. Need to go see y'all later. Bye, Razan. Was fun having you on. Have a good day. Well, the rest of the day. Um. But yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, other than that, like, I was gonna say trash pandas. Oh, great. I'm gonna have that later. Oh. Well, Neo, you're in the UK. Oh, wait, do they have porcupines there? I know you guys have like foxes and um raccoons oh my god the word raccoon was just out of my head i just had trash pandas in my fucking but porcupine prick has that horrible thing that when you put it out of your muscle it sells through oh jesus i haven't been i know uk has guitars <laughs> A porcupine is a hedgehog, right? Um, no, uh, it's actually like, porcupine is bigger. They have long, long pricks. Uh, hedgehogs are tiny. They, they are kind of like, they can fit in your own. Yeah. Porcupine is Aussie only? I don't know. If... I've never seen a raccoon. I've seen foxes. I've seen raccoons. I've seen wild rabbits. Oh, badgers. Oh my god. Like the honey badgers? Oh shit. Yeah, we also have wolverines here. Um, they really are not to be messed with. Really, Neo? You've never seen a raccoon? I mean, now that... Have I seen a raccoon? Have I ever seen a raccoon? Other than on video. Whoa. In English woods, you only see squirrels. Huh. If you ever get the chance to meet one. Yeah, for a small stitcher, you better not mess with them. Yeah, no, badgers and wolverines, you don't want to mess with that. Even honey badgers. Apparently, if they choose violence, they will choose it and go with it. It's that bad. Even ant eaters can be dangerous because of their claws. Apparently, there's a, um, there was a hunter that actually got hurt by um, the claw of a ant eater. It went, like... It stabbed him and went through his stomach. Anyways, it's um, fun times, I guess. <laughs> yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> um, but yeah, like there are animals that if they choose violence, they exactly. 
And even if they look like they might not hurt you, you still have to be careful. It's just, you know. But like, what else do we have here in Canada? I know like, do they have porcupines in Alaska? Technically it's in the US, but like I'm just, <laughs> um, yeah. We have moose, which I have seen a moose. And yeah, in the north, I've never, well, I mean, I, I, I have seen polar bears at the zoo, but yeah. We call them Harvey. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the aquarium. Oh, yeah. Well, we have deers, we have elk, we have, yeah, moose. Moose. If you think that you know when you see them in pictures and stuff like that they're just tall huh no they are massive they are extremely fucking big and here's the thing because the perspective that you have when you see them in pictures it's not the same as when they are in front of you that shit is bigger than the the car that uh, my ex-boyfriend was driving yeah exactly we almost hit two of them because it was in a road um, where there was no lights and uh, they kind of like appeared out of nowhere and uh, one walked next to the car and oh, they didn't do anything. One was laying down next to the road and one uh, was walking um, and uh, it just took a few seconds but I had like my mind blown by how big it is and how if it, you know, got pissed um, We would have been fucking dead Like it, It's fucking incredible All this time elk goes elking and my hands are off <laughs> What the fuck, Yvie? <laughs> oh I don't think I've seen elk. Um, maybe I was too young. Oh wait, no, maybe I've seen a few. I know I've seen deers, cause um, <laughs> I've seen a lot of um, a lot of them uh, in uh, wildlife centers and stuff like that. Also, one of the places where uh, my dad used to work at. Uh, there was also a lot of deers around. It's also an attraction. Like, they feed them and um, the hotel guests can see them. I've seen two to four elk in my life. But they're so pretty. I've seen a mom deer with her baby in uh, spring or winter. My god. It's beautiful. Even the forest birds can kill you. I know some of them... Yeah. Are you on Discord? I actually am! I don't remember my username! <laughs> Fuck! Um, it, it starts with mochi, but uh... Fuck. It's either mochi d chubby with like uh, underscores uh, between the words and with stars. Wait, did we talk on Discord? Uh, I don't remember my username on Discord. That's the the problem. <laughs> I love the story about my dad hunting and he had a forest bird flying towards him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we have Canada Goose, which uh, can be very... Not on Discord, but we talked about Discord before. About group chat. We might have... Um, I actually don't. Well, I mean, I vaguely remember that. 
I probably said the same thing as uh, I did like <laughs> earlier. A goose can do harm to a person. Yeah, goose are really bad. Goons are awful weapons. Yep. Their beak and all that. I just I can't imagine. But yeah. About the Discord thing, I, I did say that I was supposed to like link uh, Discord and um, Instagram also to... Uh, I did say that on stream. Do you not use Discord much these days? I don't really. I should. I honestly should. Um, it's because I... <laughs> People demand it. <laughs> I do have a Discord, it's just I don't use it often. Um, for what reason I don't use it often? <laughs> uh, uh, many groups that I am in also has uh, my uh, ex-boyfriend. And at the moment I was just like, meh, meh. But I may... I may make myself uh, a Discord server for like streams and stuff. Just like send memes and uh, like general conversations with members and stuff like that. Uh, however, I don't know how to do Discord, so it's gonna probably take a while before I do. Um, however, it's on my list. Yeah, well, that's what I want to do. Because uh, one Twitch streamer that I do uh, follow uh, does that. He, um... Well, well, don't you have an admin to do it for you? Uh, the admin was my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> the other admin that, um... <laughs> don't you dare make me into an admin. Um... Yeah, uh, the other admin that I had in the past, uh, I don't think he watches my streams anymore, but uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, uh, yeah, sure, Kiwi. Um, but yeah, it, like, I also have another Discord friend uh, who does have a um a discord but she also does like not safe for work stuff uh she has so many channels in her discord um she is french canadian so she has a little bit of like difficulties when it comes to um certain phrases but you know i, I think that she did actually improve I i'm super happy to say uh, that uh, she recognizes me when i come on stream and it's quite fun, but I'm still like too shy to talk. Um, I don't know, like if, cause I know I'm shy, and I don't know if. Uh, I would be like too I I don't know like scared to talk. I would be actually like. I'm not sure if like, cause. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, for sure, I'm gonna link my uh, Discord. Uh, I'm gonna do this this week. I'm gonna try to make a Discord server. Um, but yeah. Oh, also oh, there you go. <laughs> Shay uh, Razan has uh, started uh, his uh, stream. Nice. But yeah, just get. It. Yeah, exactly. Cause like I have no mods. Pretty much. Um, and I don't want to talk to my ex-boyfriend and be like, Hey, can you make me another Discord server? Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to go on Google and like figure this shit out. Uh, sure, Neo. No problems. Um, like, I'm going to be the one doing this. And like for now, I don't have mods, but like I'm going to, you know, step up. And, um, I can only give you advice, give you sages advice. Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> it's not something like, um, 
that uh yeah i'm losing my words right now um but yeah it's not something that i just see as this bad thing because i want to move forwards i want to be i want to have like people engaged yeah and like i don't want to have like a dead page pretty much because <laughs> i don't know if people are interested because like even if i have like two viewers that are interested in that then fucking let's do it <laughs> but yeah uh, i'm definitely gonna do that this week upload also profile and all that i think people this is the sage saying yeah because, uh, oh, people would love to see what your, what are your opinions about anything. Yeah, but then I would get cancelled. I mean, at some point it's bound to happen. Um, but, um, I think that there still is like a learning curve. It's not gonna be like super controversial opinions, it's just like... Let's just say that if I was on Twitter, I would probably get cancelled. Seeing as you can't even make one joke and uh, try and like... You make one joke on Twitter and people take it badly and it's just like... I mean, that's why, like, big creators, like uh, PewDiePie, KSI, and all that, they've left uh, Twitter. Can you teach me? I have no idea where I am. <laughs> um, in French. Or just... Man, I keep scratching my legs, and now I have these. I just forgot how to give the thumbs up to you. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I, I could. <laughs> it's kind of funny because um, when I go on walks and I just end up somewhere, you know, I've taken a road and I'm, I, or I wasn't sure anything like that, I just say it in English. Um, I have no idea where I am. Uh, would be yeah um je n'ai aucune idée où je suis <laughs> which uh <laughs> yeah i took walks i love how it's just i took walks like no <laughs> i ended up on this um most help me out here beautiful oh um maybe like a beautiful scenery yeah beautiful oh i also have to upload the uh, pictures of uh, the places that um i went in the city you could do your campfire there and just watch the scenery oh is that a beach you know there's sand everywhere and it gets everywhere in your shoes in your socks in your bag it's gonna be there for years because um it's secluded i give you that much huh because there are beaches where you can do that and um i yeah it, it's beautiful i mean not that far from here also there's people making fires technically it's against the law because it's a secluded place and people are not being responsible and it's a forest you know near everything uh but yeah so i'm gonna write on my paper oh okay it's that type of place 
Um, don't worry about it. I have asked myself uh, this question a lot on um, on walks link discord make group uh, link Instagram Awesome. But yeah, no, there's uh there's places where uh, I've been there too and it's just so, you know, it's one of those times where you're just feeling depressed. But after a while it's just just ride the wave, baby. Cause I've gone to um I don't think I wasn't depressed. Huh. I haven't been depressed for 10 years. I just think I'm... Oh no, I am... Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Gee, the words. Um, yeah, well, there are places that you find like this on walks, and uh, why aren't you going to answer? <laughs> yeah, I, I zone out, it's a, it's a thing that, um, um, I do sometimes. I love how psychiatrics. Wait a moment before you are going to answer. These people tend to think, yeah, it does. But yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to um because I still have like I still have uh, depression and anxiety disorder and all that. But I'm trying to like. Make it better, you know. It's still hard for me from time to time, but now I got time to work on myself. The uh, I, th I think like one of the only problems that I have when it comes to my anxiety is going to Walmart. Well, if there is anything I can help you, I'll be glad to help. Nice. Thank you, Kizzy. Um, yeah, I don't usually ask for help <laughs> most of the time, unless I'm like really, really panicking. Um, but yeah, I think one person is depressed. Yeah, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> and one person wants to help. Yeah, but... The person who is depressed, if they want help and they have like support emotionally, it, it helps. I don't know how hard it might have been. There are times where it was really bad, but it's been like a few years. Like I'm not letting myself die. I'm not, you know um not eating uh i'm not harming myself anymore so things have evolved to where i'm able to live my day-to-day -day life life and um i'm doing fine it it was bad back then yeah apparently uh when you're hungover uh, you need to uh eat um like eggs and uh bacon and stuff apparently a big like greasy um 
Oh boy. But then again, like, I'm not a big drinker, so... Yeah. <laughs> this is about you. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, I, I, my depression has gotten better over the years. I've worked on it, and um, yeah, the only thing, like I said, for my anxiety disorder, it's going to Walmart. I don't know why, but a few minutes inside that store, I get panicky. I get scared, I get overwhelmed, and I just want to leave. Uh, same thing for Costco. Sometimes it does that. Uh, I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. <laughs> um, it's a disorder, so it just sometimes it triggers itself. Um, sometimes I have panic attacks, but it's mostly like um, not that bad. Is it because people think what you're doing here? No, not at all. It used to be like that, but no, not anymore. Like, I can go to a store and buy clothing without any problems. Um, it's just really Walmart. I, I don't know, I guess the food is uh, overwhelming me now. Because, you know, I've bought my last clothing six years ago. Oh my god. I mean, I also have a shopping addiction, so... It may just be me, the crazy person. Damn. If I had clothing from six years ago... It... Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, okay! Well, that makes sense! Yeah, I'm a shopaholic. Uh, uh, however, it's gone down uh, throughout the years. Um, but, you know, I've gone from like being fat to uh, losing weight. So there's a lot of clothing that would not fit me. <laughs> uh, sure. About beer. Okay, wait, hang on. Because that is my brother this time. Okay, well, I might be dumb because I did not get the joke. This time. Oh. Uh, Oh, wait, no, okay, the way you phrased the joke. Okay, now I get it. Because you're an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, Okay, I just hope you will do well in your life. That's my hope. Well, I'm taking time off, but yeah. The, it's definitely like better than it was a few years ago. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I don't know what it would take to bring me down back to those years, but I, I've honestly worked hard. Uh, to get where I am and yeah makes me honestly happy to be able uh, to see that but I still have to uh, <laughs> to uh, get to know why I'm still like nervous in big 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 stores You get some food, I get some beer. <laughs> well, I think that because it's past like 6.20, um, I would need to uh, end the stream and uh, come back tomorrow. 
Yeah, because it's been some uh, a while that I haven't had um, and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. I've been streaming for like a few hours, and it's just like. Oh shit, I don't even remember when I started streaming this morning. Oh, you haven't had the 80s honeymoon. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm gonna note that. Oh, by the way, uh, QV, I checked the uh, final fight. Um, Agar and uh, when you asked me this question of um, do you think he would uh, overthrow you in a, in a fight the answer is yes <laughs> like yeah I looked him up and I'm like Jesus fucking Christ um, yeah I would be fucked up after that if I don't die um you had asked um, if uh, him or me would win in a fight, <laughs> which is a funny idea, uh, but definitely him. Yeah, he is a beast. I looked at him on Google and I was like, God damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's uh he's pretty fucking huge. That's what he is. <laughs> I didn't actually have time to um uh check the songs, but I will this week definitely cuz uh I need to add some stuff to my new playlist. Yeah. However, I won't be able to cosplay him. <laughs> um but yeah, he's, um, he's huge. Oh. Well, I would, um, oh wait, no. Oh. <laughs> Honey, no. Oh, I was gonna say, like, if this is not a joke, we're gonna link it in the Discord <laughs> once I make it. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah. So I got my list. Oh boy, stomach here. Keep handling it. Um. Yeah. So I think that would be like. I did lifting for three years until I got drunk. My ex-boyfriend was into lifting, but then he stopped. Because of the pandemic, but yeah. Hey, we're both in the same boat, buddy. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so I still around the stomach and thighs, but yeah, um, I just wear shirts that, that try to not make me, uh, still have like lots of difficulties with it, but I did progress, I did progress, but uh, yeah, um, I'm probably gonna try tonight or tomorrow to do all the computer and uh, stuff on Discord, uh, linking my Instagram and linking all that stuff. I'm gonna try. And uh, I'm honestly excited. And QV, I hope to see you in the next stream. God damn it. <laughs> Neo, <laughs> I was saying goodbye because I wanted to end the stream. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's just because I'm hungry. Let me say thank you, but remembering what I sent you. Yeah, well, it's like uh, around 7 p.m. and I still haven't had like a full meal. 
You're a great person. Thank you, Kiwi. But it's good to have you in the streams. And, um... Yeah, Neo, my stomach keeps, like, making hungry sounds. <laughs> Choosing food over us. <laughs> um... No, it's fun to have you in the stream. What do you mean? <laughs> it's also fun to have you uh, here, Neo. <laughs> yes. So I'll set up the Discord and uh, all that this week, definitely. And uh, have a good day or night, depending on... Uh, where you are. Yep. I'll definitely do it. So. 2am. Damn. You're still up. <laughs> Goodbye everyone. <laughs> Have a fun evening. Eh. <laughs>